Hello guys and welcome back to episode 15 of my Stellaris playthrough playing as the Schistocerca Alviare and the Hive is at war. We are basically going for a super swarm onto half the nations in the galaxy right now. It's actually insane. Look at all these messages I'm getting at the top. Fleet detections, uh, evading hostile fleets there, probably a science ship or something, construction ships. Um, we have powerful pop population factions. Oh, this this one's actually getting really strong. They have 80 population. I'm not entirely sure why that's like that. Oh, okay. So there's only one population that we have to worry about there. And what I can do is do an integration campaign and that will reduce some of that. We will suppress the media, of course. And that used up a lot of our influence. That will sort things out Station for us. Under attack. Okay, so we are under attack in many locations. We are being attacked here, as you can see, at Athas. We are attacking them at Hojam. If we land the armies, we can get that underway and take control of that system. Uh, we are going to want to take out the uh, frontier outpost here at Benkar. And then we we want to take out the Frontier Outpost here at Lombardus. Uh, I might actually just build a few destroyers or maybe a, like a cruiser. Actually, let's just get some corvettes. They build quickly. We'll get, four, we'll get like some groups of four corvettes and we can go and destroy those Frontier Outposts. Um, Actually, let's just go for six. Better safe than sorry. Um, we're going to whip out some more corvettes from all of these locations. And we're going to unpause it and continue. So as soon as we finish bombarding this planet and I start landing on it, I'm actually going to... Um, I'm actually going to move this fleet elsewhere because we need to use it in other locations. So at the moment here, for example, our mining stations are being attacked. We have this fleet updated. on the way to Celadon to take care of that 3,000 uh, fleet. Situation and these guys Station under attack. need to help bombard that planet. Construction complete. Okay, we're starting to wipe out their navies. Uh, let's go ahead and head to Athas now, Station under attack. Construction because complete. we need to stop them destroying stuff there. And we take, we're taking control of that planet anyway, so that planet is ours, we've got 11% war score on the board, good job. Right, let's try and find our other army, <laughs> ah, they are engaged over here. Complete. Not sure what kind of weapons they are using, but they're doing a lot of damage. Their big old cruisers look awesome. Well, they're just their ships in, all, in general just look cool. That is quite a big battle. Hopefully, we will come out on top. Sectors are missing resources. It's probably because uh, some of the mining stations have been destroyed. Uh, let's get the Guardian Point defense underway. And if we go for the army upkeep minus 10% again, that should be good. Currently, are, we have quite a lot of armies. One's occupying Kadman and Mog. The others are just waiting at the moment for my fleet to come back, which is currently engaged with this other fleet. So we are slowly cutting them down to size. What is my other attack swarm doing? 
Okay, so they're not doing very much at the moment. They're just moving. They're chasing. Okay. Situation log updated. Right, and at Donga, we are being attacked by a large fleet as well. So if we just repair that fleet here. Then we can head back. See, if I just start building a spaceport again, can I repair from that? No, I can't. Okay, so we're just going to head straight to Dongar then and attack this 3,900 fleet. Detected. fleet. Construction complete. Uh, these fleets are all going to head to Lombardus because I want to take out that frontier outpost. We can get rid of these little blobs that are really an eyesore. At uh, Hojam, we've got full control of that, so if we just embark all, then that should be fine. I don't think we need to leave one on there, honestly. Uh, I've never actually figured out if that needs to be done or not. Either way, we're going to engage them at Irejama's treasure now. We might catch out this army, or Hostile maybe. Fleet engaged. Yeah, the fleet, Hostile there we go. Fleet We've engaged. engaged them. That should get them off our backs once we destroy that. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. And we've also engaged this fleet as well. This attack swarm. Hostile fleet engaged. Might actually be worth heading that to complete. like Akamar or something like that. Not entirely sure. Actually, let's head to Menkar, just get rid of the frontier outpost there. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, my fleet is really taking a beat in at the moment. I'm gonna have to start really pumping out some new built some new uh, destroyers and so on because I have a feeling we might lose. We aren't yet. But I think their fleet is technologically superior to mine. And therefore, we're taking a lot of damage. That is an intense battle. They also have a level 4 Admiral, so that's something that's coming into play. See, this is pretty uh, horrible because they have lasers, which are a lot more effective at this sort of close range than mine are. Okay, so we've destroyed the fleet here. We need to get this fleet back for sure. I just need to pause things and see what's going on because currently uh, we're in a pretty, I don't know, a precarious position, I would say. I'm still fighting that battle over here with these guys. I might actually just retreat. We will lose some, some dudes, I think, from doing that, but it might be worth saving face against those cruisers. Mm, we do have 24 destroyers. They have five destroyers and three cruisers. So maybe we can we can overwhelm them there, just like the swarm would. The thing that I'm most worried about is my my torpedoes are not very effective at close range, and that's really, really hurting me right now. I think maybe once we get uh, level 4 railguns, like the advanced railguns here, that will help us out a lot, and maybe we'll get those in the uh, auto best. I, can't, I do trust the auto best quite a lot, but uh, it's just... In this situation, I wish we had lasers. <laughs> I wish we had lasers. I don't think we have uh, many result, many uh, laser sort of technologies, though. Um, no, we don't. <laughs> we haven't unlocked the first lasers at all. We just have rail guns. 
Hmm, okay. So yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do that anyway. I need to get this fleet that's idle anyway to, to do something. So we need to find out where the enemy are. This is a transport fleet. Oh, no, it's not. That is a corvette engaging my fleet, which we need to get the hell out of there. Evading hostile fleet. Construction complete. Now, why can they not hostile initiate an emergency ready. jump? <laughs> Evading hostile fleet. Well, that's quite annoying. Station under attack. Evading hostile fleet. So we took control of Lombardus because we destroyed the frontier outpost. We're Situation probably going to lose updated. a lot of my fleet Hostile here fleet because they won't retreat. <laughs> then again, that corvette's going to take a little while to destroy them, but I'm going to have to like spend some more cash on assault armies, which is fine, I guess, because... We don't particularly need these minerals. We can just spend as many as we like. Construction complete. Situation log updated. All right, let's just take the fleet round to Nebaretha and Station attack there. Under attack. This fleet is not really going to plan, is it? So let's just retreat. Situation log updated. Get the hell out of there. Fix up the ships and build some more. Right, this small swarm here. I think there's a frontier outpost at Dorelian. There must be. Hostile fleet engaged. Hmm, we'll go have a look. And in the meantime, this fleet Hostile can travel fleet over to Nebarethar. And then we can start to... Uh, invade there. Enemy so we actually enemy. lost Situation like our updated. first big naval battle, which is scary to say the least. And now those five cruisers are attacking my planet. So we are going to go back and take care of them before heading on to Nebarethar. And once we destroy those cruisers, actually, that will damage them severely. It will take them ages to, to build those back up again. A lot like it is with us. Uh, it's just that with me, I um, I can build faster than they are, they can because I've got more systems. So technically, if I wanted to, I could upgrade all of the spaceports in all of my systems, and then just build from all of them at once. But there isn't a easy way of building from each one uh, at the same time. So. If I went into here, for example, and I made sure that they all have um, corvette yards and so on, I could just spam corvettes from like every uh, every station. I could just come into here. I could be like, "Yo, let's just build loads of corvettes, right?" But it's kind of pointless. <laughs> like, it does take a while for me to do this. And it is a lot quicker, obviously, than, than building them in the only four sectors. But at the end of the day, this isn't exactly exciting gameplay, is it, when I'm just clicking on all of these? <laughs> I love the way some of these can build battleships. I didn't even know I'd unlocked the, the thing yet, because I haven't gone that high level with my own places yet. If we go into ship designs, battleships, what do they look like? Holy moly. That is a large ship with a lot of armaments. And a lot of medium improved deflectors. Maybe we should build a couple of those. Hmm. Yeah, in these uh, places where we can. Okay, that one needs a level 6. This one we can build battleships. 
Let's build a battleship. Okay. So we'll let that continue anyway. It's quite hard for me to, to kind of work out <laughs> where all of these forces are. We'll make sure that all of these guys get merged together. Construction complete. Evading hostile fleet. So we'll merge them. And we are or should be engaging hostile fleet an enemy fleet soon. Hostile fleet detected. Situation log updated. Are they going to invade here? I think they are. Hostile fleet detected. Ah, oh, they already are invading, yeah. <laughs> evading hostile fleet. Okay, uh, let's make sure that we take that back then, ASAP. Evading hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet. So what's evading? My construction ships. Evading Fair enough. Hostile fleet. Station under attack. Evading hostile fleet. Construction ship under attack. Right, over here, I need to make sure that this transport fleet gets out of there. This fleet's in there doing nothing as well. So let's go to Zeldra with that one. Research complete. We can head that one to Zeldra hostile as well. Fleet engaged. Uh, may as well send the transport fleets there as well. So let's do that. I'm just going to pause it to see what's going on because there is a lot going on at the moment. We need to make sure that these are dealt with. Maybe I need to send the 2000 in that direction. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, my 6,000 is still chasing Station under the enemy fleet. Hostile fleet detected. Situation okay, well, I'm just going to tell them to go to Nebaratha now. And we will siege Neboria. Hostile fleet detected. <laughs> So Atathas, Athenbia is under attack. Situation log updated. And I don't want to engage them with two ships. So Station let's avoid that. Attack. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Over here we've landed on top of a military station. And we successfully fended off the invaders. That's good. And Donga. My armies arrived in time to save that planet. And now we have lost a scientist, so let's go ahead and get a new one. And we'll get the volcano removal. I swear we already researched that previously. But apparently not. So we're going to go for that. And this war continues. It's incredibly hard What's even for me to keep engaged? track of. I, I'm sorry for you guys who are watching. Uh, if you can't keep track of what's going on either. Because uh, I'm lost. Like All I know is that some of my fleets are doing stuff. Other ones aren't. One's nearly destroyed. Uh, I don't even know. Um, that was the 2000 one that went to... Zeldra was it? No, okay, never mind. The other one's still arriving. So they're going to head to Zeldra once they reach Zyabir and they'll head straight there. 
which is good. I mean, that's a look at look how far they can go with the the wormholes there. That's pretty pretty awesome. Um, so they'll get back up soon. But there is just so much going on. I'm gonna have to keep this keep pausing this occasionally. So sorry if that's annoying. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys are just as bad as I am at keeping up with this keeping up with this at the moment. I'm gonna get my transport fleet to head in this direction because I would like to take over Naboria. Um, honestly, we might need a second attack force in order to make that happen. So let's get this transport fleet to head over there as well. And we got the situation log up updating all the time because look how many like research projects we got going. <laughs> That's just Situation insane. Log updated. And one thing that I do Situation need to do log updated. is like keep building with my construction ships while I'm going because all of these mining stations being taken Hostile out and stuff will engaged. start to affect my income. Although, yeah, a lot of them have maintained their places. We have a lot of... Uh, excess minerals and I'm going to chuck it towards the sectors so that they can rebuild their space stations. There we go. And that should do nicely. Hostile fleet engaged. So at Nebaretha, we're taking out updated. science ships. Situation log updated. And then we will be invading Naboria. Situation log updated. So Zoff Ritir was forced to return to Avalam from Nugan because it was within the borders of centralized Aramathi tribes. Sorry, what? Oh, was that one of our science ships? Okay, never mind. I thought that was like ceding land to them for some reason. I love the way our borders connect here. This planet we could colonize. And then we could connect around to Ivagamar with that. Add to Ivagamar, let's just have a look. We do have five population here now, so if I upgrade that to a planetary administration, we can start resettling population. Um, but that is the least of our concerns, as we are still at war. Let's go ahead and continue with the bombardment. And make sure it is his full bombardment, and then we can just go ahead and land the army straight away. Hostile fleet engaged. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. So we're just going to land both armies Situation at the same time. Updated. That fleet is so dead right now. We need to get them out of there. Okay. So they were heading to Zelda, Zeldra before my <laughs> big fleet got there. Okay. Station under attack. Hostile fleet Where else engaged. are we under attack? Uh, just here. Our 1.9k being distracted. Log updated. We're at 6.3k now. That can go elsewhere. Maybe they should head to uh, Zeldra. So the siege Hostile or the battle engaged. of the Borea is underway. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. I think my slave army's Hostile got that under control engaged. though. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Station under attack. Enemy planet secure. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Evading hostile fleet. 
Okay, let's bring all of the idle fleets Station over together and then we can merge them. Situation log updated. Construction complete. That Hostile wormhole station is gone. Hostile fleet detected. And I'm not station sure what's coming here. Situation log updated. But I would like to engage right. that if they are coming. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, that's an invasion fleet. Situation anyway, let's uh, embark all. I need to split those guys. I might just split them in half because I can't be bothered to sort out the slaves from the non-slaves. And um, then we can head to Zeldra. Okay. Construction complete. Situation log updated. So they ran away, which is fair enough. And it seems like Zeldra is fully under our control. Um, the other one I need to get is Okul. So I might send my 6,000 force there. Ah, they came back. Okay. Well, now they're dead. Construction complete. Because here come the torpedoes. Situation log updated. <laughs> they got wiped out so quickly. That is ridiculous. <laughs> right. So things looking up. I at the beginning of this war, I was not sure if we would pull, pull through, but but at the moment, so far, so good. Uh, let's just merge these because it's so hard to keep track of all the fleets when you've got so many on the go. Hostile fleet detected. Uh, yeah. So let's take a lot of these ones that are still orbiting to the same place so that we can consolidate them and then we can actually use them for something useful rather than just having them sitting about. My 6000 is moving to Ukul. Uh, we have our fleets turning up here actually. And we should have our transport fleets arriving soon. Construction complete. Situation log updated. We've got even more of hostile fleet the detected. armies on the planet log updated. that we Evading can use fleet. if we need to, like Skistron, Veltaka, like all the ones on the right here. Right, let's uh, bombard Okul. And I will actually get all of these armies Hostile fleet to detected. embark. And they can head towards Hostile this planet. Fleet detected. Construction and it's company. crazy how much it's calmed down, really, because... At the start of the war, there was a lot of fleets that we had to deal with, and we did manage to get rid of them. And finally, the invasion of Zeldra 2 has begun. We are at 50% war score, and uh, when we take over Okol, that will be another of the war score places taken over. So soon we will have transports arriving here, I believe. But uh, Zeldra is under our control. And once they are fixed up, we will lift them up. Alright, let's just embark them all now. And we can merge them. Right, next up we'll go Hostile to Thrad, I guess, detected. and we will take the transport fleet with us. Construction complete. Station Over here we're going to start the invasion. Fleet. Station under attack. 
So it says there's a enemy fleet here, but I can't see them. Ah, they were on the edge of the system. At uh, Bull Patred, did we lose that again? I'm pretty sure they they must have taken that over again. Station under attack. Actually, let's uh, before we get rid of those, let's just consolidate all of these. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet detected. That should make things a lot easier to keep track of. There we go. Nice. So that's those ones. We will head them to Akamar. But uh, unfortunately, guys, <laughs> that has been my time, and the war continues between the Skisserka and half the bloody galaxy. Uh, yeah, it's been a good war so far. Hostile I'm, I'm actually worried what it's going to be like when we've got to attack the other side of the galaxy, because so far we are massive, and uh, it's not too much of an issue. It's just kind of annoying I guess <laughs> it's very tedious that's what I find it's 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 not so much like a annoying or or bad you know it's really epic but at the same time it's incredibly tedious and hard to keep track of like when you have four or five navies or fleets going at the same time you've got to keep track of them all you're basically running at like normal speed I don't want this to be like drag on forever so I'm keeping it at normal speed with pause and I think that's fair enough but it's still super hard to keep track of um, and when you're building new fleets there's no way to like tell your new armies to go and like incorporate them with another navy or fleet that's already exists because that would be really useful so you don't have bloody single fleets flying around everywhere clogging up your military fleets outliner but there we go and it <laughs> rant over <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this episode because of the war and it's pretty exciting actually having to keep track of it but it's just a bit tedious and, and hard to do um, yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye